Hi guys, in the previous video I took apart my cordless drill and established that the motor was dead. The commutator has actually come apart. I've had a look on eBay and a replacement motor, well obviously there's all sorts of prices but probably £40 for a replacement motor. Some are a bit cheaper. But that's not far off the price of a new cordless drill, so I'm not going to worry about it. Having said that, if I do ever get hold of a replacement motor, it's very unlikely it'll come with that gear wheel on it. So I'm going to see if I can tap that off. So we're going to hit it with a hammer. my favourite block of wood here, so I can sit it on top, oh camera won't quite get it in shot, let's just move it up a bit, there we go, and what I'm going to do, as I say, is hit it with a hammer, I've got a nail here, I'm going to put that in the middle, and what I think will happen is this will get pushed down into that hole. Yeah, that's okay. So now, when I hit this, the bearing there should stop the gear, whereas the shaft should drop right through, if I'm lucky. So we'll try it. Not a lot happening. Hmm. Because I suspect this has been heated to actually get it in place. So that may be my only option. Heat it up with a blowtorch and then hit it. Yeah, that's not moving. Blowtorch time then. Out in the garden, blowtorch ready. silly enough to try and pick that up. Finally! <laughs> that took a lot of effort, but we got it off in the end. Remember, that's probably still pretty hot. So there we are, that's our electric motor disassembled. And you can clearly see that broken commutator now. A 
no good to anybody. And obviously in there we've got a couple of magnets that might be vaguely useful. And most important, should I ever decide to get another motor, which I very much doubt, but we do need that gear so it matches the ones that are already in the gearbox. Job done.